What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to draw Christmas knuckles. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw an oval for the nose. We're gonna start right in the middle at the very top, go all the way around, and then back up towards the top. Let's add a small oval along the top edge for a highlight. And we'll fill the bottom of the nose in black, going around that highlight. Now we're gonna draw the top edge of the muzzle above the nose. Let's start over on the left. I'm just gonna curve this up in the middle and then bend that down on the right. And then we'll add a fold along the side of the muzzle. Let's step back up, go across, and then bend this up towards the cheeks. And I'll round up the cheeks and bend that back in. Let's close off the bottom of the head with a curve. Start on the left, bend this down, and in towards the center, go across, and then back up on the right. Now I want to shift the mouth over towards the right side. We start down here, bend this up and out. Now I move back to the center, add a fold in between the brow with a straight line. Let's move out to the side, curve the brow going out and then up towards the left and right. And then we'll curve the brow going back out towards the side of the head. We'll go up, and bend that out towards the left side. Go to the right, and go up towards the same height. Let's add those spikes coming down the side of the head. We're gonna start from the top of the eye, go straight down towards the side of the cheek, and then we'll bend that in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming straight down, bend that in around the cheeks. Let's taper this back up towards the side. We go up so it gets a little bit wider. And then just up towards the side of the head. And do the same thing on the right. Now I want to go back and draw the bottom edge of the eyes. Let's start from this top corner, come down, and just bend that in towards the top of the cheeks. Let's pull the pupils towards the inside. We're we'll start from the top left. We're we'll gonna draw an oval, coming down, and bend that back up. Let's trace that oval on the inside. And we'll add a curve along the top for a highlight, coming down and up and it will fill in the bottom of the pupils. Now you want to enhance the brow with a fold along the top. Leaving a gap in the center, let's start over on the left, bend this up and then out, move over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's tuck another spike along the side of the head. We we'll start down here, bend this down and in, And then from here, it's gonna curve around the side of the head, going out, go up, and then bend that back in. Now I'm gonna close off the top with a curve, going across, and then back down. Let's add in some reindeer ears. We're gonna step over on the left side, bend this out, and then up. Going back to the left side, we'll curve the bottom of the ear, coming down, and then in towards the side of the head. Now from the tip of the ear, it's gonna add a fold, coming down and then in. Now let's add in some antlers. We're gonna start from the inside of the ear along the bottom, curve this around, and then bend that in towards the top. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's round up the tip of the horn. And just follow that curve coming down. And we'll add a point along the inside of the antler, coming in and then up. 
round out the tip, come down and then back out. Now you want to follow that curve coming down towards the bottom. Let's add another point, point in and then up. Let's round out the tip. Again, just tapering that in towards the bottom, just up above the head. And it'll connect the outside with the curve going up a little bit higher in the middle. And it'll bend that back down. Now let's move down and draw on the body. Let's start by adding in a collar. We're gonna start over on the left, curve this down in the middle, and then back up. On the side, we're gonna step down, curve the body, going out and then down towards the hip. Let's connect the hips with the curve, coming down and then back up. Let's add a belt. We're gonna step up, add one curve, Step up and draw that again. Now add two small buttons in the center. One along the top and then one on the bottom. Now in the center of the body, we're going to step down and add a curve going up and then down. Now leave a gap in the center. Let's move over towards the left and curve the leg going out and then down towards the left ankle. Move over towards the right out and down towards the right. Let's round out the bottom of the legs and come down and then up on both sides. Now from the hips we're going to step in and curve the outside of the leg going out and then down. Now we're going to wrap a thick cuff around the ankles. From the left side we're going to step up. We want to draw an oval going all the way around the leg. Come in and then tuck that in. From the outside of the cuff, draw two straight lines coming down. Now close off the bottom with a curve. From the inside of the cuff, we're going to curve the heel coming in and down towards the bottom of the feet. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left side, curve the foot, coming down, and then up. Let's go back over towards the left side. We want to curve the foot going up, and then bend that down towards the outside of the cuff. And now we're going to add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. We'll take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. Let's add some detail to the shoes. We start from the bottom of the cuff, draw a straight angle line coming down and out. Just aiming towards the toe. Then it's up and out towards the top of the foot. Now from this point, we're going to step in, add a trim, coming in and then down. Let's go back underneath the cuff, curve in and down. Now we want to go back up to the top and draw on the arms. Let's start halfway down the side of the body, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist, move over towards the right and do the same thing. Now from the wrist, we're going to draw a half circle coming in and then out for the thumb, close off the end with a bracket. Now we're going to go underneath the thumb and curve the bottom of the hand, going down out. I'm just going to pull this up towards the outside. Let's add a half circle on the outside of the hand for the socket. And then from the outside, curve the hand going up and just bring that down toward the top of the thumb. Let's add a spike inside that socket. We're going to take these two points, angle this out towards the center point. Let's add another spike on the inside of the hand. We're going to start with that socket with a curve. And then again, we'll just pull this out towards the center point. Now 
Now from the top of the hand, I'm just gonna curve the arm going up and then in towards the side of the collar. You wanna go in behind those hair spikes. Let's add the top of the cup, step up, just curve this in. Now you wanna bring the tail coming out from the left side, start from the hip, come down. Let's finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Christmas knuckles. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I wanna thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.